Yeah, we're live. Dude, what are you wearing? That's sick. This? This whole thing? Yeah, what is that? It's uh, my new Sugar Valentine merch. What about you? What oh, the? that's matching? Jeez Louise. No, these turned out sick. Just got them in the day. Yeah, these are fire. They, they drop pretty soon. Cause Valent- When's the Valentine's Day? February 14th. Oh, shit. So yep. these probably drop real soon. Yeah, they Super should. duper fire. Yeah. And if you fucking can't fuck your girl, like, if I can't fuck your girl for you, basically, is what I'm saying. We got the little sugar vibrators, dude. Personal massagers meant for, I mean, girls or boys. If you want to vibrate your little butthole, you can. Huh. But uh, if you want to vibrate your little girls, little clitty titty, you can too. So little vibrator sugars coming out. We got the crude top. We got the pink hoodie. We got the black hoodie. It's just fire shit. We got fire shit. We got a lot of shit to talk about today. It's February 8th. Jokes. Today is Friday, 27th of January. Dana White just went live on Instagram, YouTube, wow. all that shit, and just announced some massive fights. We got Israel Adesanya versus Alex Pajeda rematch. We got Gilbert Burns versus Jorge Masvidal. We got... I think that's about it. That's Those were the two big ones he announced, but on that same card, the Jose Junior Ruiz is fighting um, Ro- Ro- Christian Ruiz. Aguilera. I think that's actually a person, but he's fighting someone, and then... Uh, um, who else? Adrian Yanez. Adrian Yanez versus Rob Font. That is a sick fight. Yeah. I love that shit. I love that fight. It's going to be a, a sick, war. Yeah, give me a sick kickboxing match. Um, Who else was on there? There was one more car- person on that card. UFC 287, right? Yeah. Well, let me look real quick because that um, is just super duper fun, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little surprised that I am and I'm not that Pereira versus Izzy too. Like I was hoping they would make the rematch, but I, I didn't know if they were gonna move on from that rematch and go somewhere else. <sighs> you gotta else. give it that. You gotta give. Israel was active. He was a very good yeah. champion, and you gotta give that to him. You got to. I'm glad they did. Do you see it? Ooh, Chris Curtis versus Kelvin Gaslam's on that card too. Oh, they must have. Oh, moved. Kevin Hall and Santiago Ponzinibbio. Oh, that's what it was. Um, Joe Pfeiffer's fighting Gerald Merchach. Merchart. Um, Merchart's is fighting. How you, old Rosa Jr. is fighting Christian Rodriguez? I was close. You were close. Whatever I said. Um, that's sweet, dude. Big fights. That is big. I'm glad they went that. live with it because lately they've been just kind of dropping them. Like when you're watching the fights, they'll get to be a little announcement. Yeah. No, so I, I kind of I liked it. It was I, fun, and yeah. it was right before a pod, so it was like what? It was great time. Do Conor McGregor time. almost got ran over by a fucking Rainier. car while he was riding his bike. <laughs> he did get smacked. It sounds like pretty. I good. think he's had a little scratch on his butt. But I wonder if that, you know, that could have been a life-changing moment. That could have been like, holy... Imagine we wake up, and it was Conor McGregor dies, got ran over by a car. That would be crazy, Yeah, dude. that would be insane. Um, he's also supposedly getting sued for kicking a girl in her chest into the ocean, teep, right? A nice a teep kick. It's beater. like, dude, was she talking shit? Did she <laughs> dude, deserve it? We're not you know what I mean? We're not no, I, I, it's who knows. It's so hard to believe, first of all, what girls say. You know what I mean? No, it's hard to believe when someone's talking about someone so famous and so rich. Yeah. It's like, did he do that? Or was that girl drunk and she farted and, ow, you know what I mean, fell? Who knows? Who and it sounds like it was like over a year ago. I don't know why. Though. Huh? Yeah, sounds like it was a while ago. I apparently didn't read into it. No. Well, that the claims are just being brought now. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't know why that all happened can we get back to alex or is he too yeah please? we sure fucking can because you just fucking skipped right over it and it's yeah, a huge sore. fight yeah uh, talk about it then you talk about it they like to hear the insight from a <sighs> dude i'm a wannabe i'm a poser you are a poser you know what i mean but you're I didn't decent even, at posing i'm a poser uh do you see it going any different for izzy i mean it looked like he was it's, winning. i feel like it's gonna be a hard fight obviously for both guys to win Alex beat him three times now in a kickboxing in kickboxing. This is going to be a kickboxing fight. This isn't going to be a wrestling match unless Izzy. I mean, it, uh, Alex doesn't seem like an easy guy to take down. He's obviously working on that shit. Who knows if Izzy's just going to grind and wrestle, um, and and try to take him down, change the fight in that aspect because Alex did not look super good on the ground when he did get taken down. Right. But I don't know if Alex or Izzy's going to be able to really switch it up and do that. Who knows? Izzy literally would have knocked him out if there was 10 seconds left in that first round. A couple yeah. seconds left. So it's hard to say. Um, if you're Izzy, like, and I know I'm sure you guys have similar mindsets where you're just unbreakable, but after three straight losses to a guy, does it seem like it's – do you think it's going to fuck with him mentally at all? Because that's – I mean, that's tough to go into another training camp and another war with a guy who's beaten you three times. <laughs> Even though they've all been really close fights. Yeah, I don't. He's never really been 
dominated. That makes it different. If he would go, if this was a third fight that he's been dominated, it's. I mean, I guess he, he did get TKO'd or KO'd in the first one. The second one or whatever, I might have got him backwards. He was winning. Refs gave him a. So, I mean, that second one, I don't even know if he feels like it's a loss. He could be, you know, only going in there one and two against him, which isn't much better. But I don't know. Championship mindset, new fight, new camp. You know what I mean? I think he goes in there confident and uh, maybe not confident, but maybe not scared. I don't know. It's super tricky. It's obviously in a weird position to be going against a guy you're own three against, only own yeah. one in MMA. So it is different. I don't know. We'll have to, we'll talk about it when it gets closer because it's obviously a little farther out. But you know what's coming up faster than I thought? Mm. Islam versus Alexander Volkanovsky. Oh. That's in two weeks. Yeah, that's crazy. Look like the Nelk boys uh, just got back from their trip. I've been listening to their pod talking about their trip in Russia, Dagestan. They said it was fun. You know what I mean? Trained with Islam and did shit over there. Oh, really? Yeah. Trained with him? Yeah. They did. Uh, looked like they did some training, training shit over there. But that's such a. It's getting. It's more of an interesting fight than I even think. The more I think about it, I'm like, what's going to happen? Dude, people talk about Volkanovsky being short and, and like, he's just mastered his style he's yeah. used to being short he's used to being the shorter guy he's got he's got still a longer reach than most shorter people but he's just so compact and that's gonna i feel like make it harder for islam to take him out and hold him down but right. then look what he we're back what i was trying to say about alexander volkanovsky is he's mastered his style he's shorter he's compact is he going to be able to get taken down and held down you would assume yes if you watch Islam's fights. You'd think, okay, who? Why would Alexander Volkanovsky be able to n stop Islam? But I think if anyone can do it, it is Islam Volkanovsky. I mean, Islam. I mean, <laughs> Alexander Volkanovsky. I do think if anyone can beat Islam, it's me or Alexander Volkanovsky. Yeah, you two up in there for sure. You know what I mean? That's so crazy. I'm kidding. Chill, motherfuckers. Because before that Charles fight, I feel like a lot of people were doubting him, and now it sounds. And now everyone's like, oh pound for pound i mean dude, before it Charles is weird is uh alexander is pound for pound right and, and islam's, islam's number two yeah that's pretty so it's like insane. is it an upset i kind of i don't know charles uh Oliver was also saying it's like i want that rematch yeah i had a bad night 10 minutes of yeah so which is interesting i mean i think charles versus islam is interesting still i still i do still think it's i don't know he got outstruck and then taken down a choke but it's hard to I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Do I know shit? No, yeah. I don't. Well, fighting is just an insane sport. You have yeah. to be on your A game or or B. No, you can't be on your B game at all. True. What are your thoughts on the Gilbert Burns versus Jorge Masvidal? Dude, that's an interesting fight because Jorge is hard to take down. He's not going to fucking, you know, he's, he doesn't get taken down easily. He's got very good takedown defense, and he is still a very skilled kickboxer. <laughs> With that being said, I think that's a very, very interesting matchup, and I really don't have a prediction right now. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't expecting the news. I, I saw Jorge tweet yesterday or two days ago that he had big fight news coming soon. You saw Connor tweet about the tough. I was thinking maybe they were going to do Jorge versus Connor for Is the it raining? Oh, no, man. Sorry. <laughs> Jorge versus Connor for the ultimate oh. fighter. But, yeah, I think it's going to be a sweet fight. Gilbert Burns just came off an impressive win against Neil. Yeah, they made it look easy. You made it look very dude, easy. Dude, once he got that body lock, dude, Gilbert has insane grappling. Insane. Yeah. High level black belt. Um, but yeah, you just mentioned the ultimate fighter there. You got Connor versus Tony potentially. I eh, don't care as much. Connor versus Chandler. Interestanto. Muy interestanto. I know, but it's Tony. Connor and Michael. Huh? Tony, what Tony tweeted, it sounds like he said. Do you want me to read it? Read Tony's tweet if you can All right, guys. decipher it. I will read you guys what Tony Ferguson said. You guys take this for what it just, you know what I mean? I've been, I've been asking to coach on tough against old fathead or anyone of my choosing if that cake eating some bish wouldn't show Mac what a vagina. Always ready anytime, anywhere. I choose you, McNacker. The notorious. See you soon. The champ. CSO. So if that doesn't tell you something. So it sounds like Tony. They're not giving Tony. He's not like a dude. What's his record? Dude, it's not, well, that's what they're saying. He's saying if if Connor doesn't want it, it's still Tony versus someone else. Is what that tweet really made it? I couldn't understand what the fuck that tweet said. I'm being honest. Um, let's see. Tony's last five fights: Been lost to Nate Diaz, lost to Michael Chandler, lost to Bill Nieu, lost to Charles Oliveira, lost to Justin Gaethje. But still, like, listen to those Justin Gaethje. 
former champ. Charles Alvaro, former champ. Benilio Yard- Darn to you, damn near, might as well be former champ. Michael Chandler, might as well be a former champ. Nate Diaz, triple champ. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's a lot to straight killers. But I don't think you can make him a coach, dude. I just don't think with five L's in a row, it just doesn't sound good. I love Tony. I think I would. I would. I don't know if I'd watch. I probably won't watch if it's anyone other than Connor. Like Connor right. would probably be the only reason I would watch. And have they ever done an Ultimate Fighter where they don't fight after? Mm-hmm. Oh, they do. Okay. I think they have only once, and it was weird. Because I was. I'm curious to see if that is the fight to make. I don't think that's the fight to make for Tony. For Connor, I think it would be a good coming back fight. But yeah, that excites me. I think. I mean, I don't. Connor re- Tony. It's weird. I don't want to see Tony go down again. I think. It well, was, if Connor wins, it's like, it's not that big of a deal. You right. know what I mean? Which was no. Me yeah, and I just that's why I was, ex- I was more so expecting, Jorge <laughs> versus Connor, the Ultimate Fighter. Want some? No, I'm good right now. Uh, you haven't smoking much, huh? I haven't. No, I just been chilling. Just been chilling. Jay chilling. Um, yeah. Well, uh, that's because I Jorge versus Connor. That, that excites me. I don't know why. Jorge Connor's sweet yeah. fight, but no, obviously we ain't getting that. I know. Unfortunately, I want to post on Snapchat real quick. We're live on the Bro Mally Show. You guys see that? You guys see that? Watch that. You're gonna see it, and you're gonna see it. And you're gonna be like, "What the fuck?" Um. Yeah, I'm over this fight and bullshit. I was just in Mexico. Tim and I went to Mexico. Is it? What do you keep hearing that? I think something's dishwasher. Maybe. Oh, something. Oh, the sink's on. Sink. I keep feeling like you're raining. Tim and I went to Tijuana, Tijuana. Just it's it's a it's a crazy. It's so weird that it's literally like ten minutes from San Diego. No, it is. It's a minute away from San Diego because the border. You just fuck across the border and you're in, yeah. and you can see. We're sitting at the hospital, Chips Hospital, and you're looking out and you can see San Diego. Right there. It's fucking weird, dude. You drive up this giant hill in Tijuana, like not far from the border, five minutes from the border. You look off to the left. There's thousands of houses that look like they're put together with cardboard. Tarp roofs. It is sad. It's, it is a different, it feels like you're in a different part of the world, but you're like 10 minutes away from America. It's crazy, dude. I think the people want to know if you got another peen shot. I didn't. I didn't no. get any injections, boys. I just went over there. Tim... Tim didn't get any injections either. We just went over there to get our MRIs and do some uh, PEMF. You've heard about that? PEMF. It's like the electric pulse pulse machine, uh, the hyperbaric chamber, and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, my knees feel, felt great ever since I got the stem cells. Tim's shoulders improved. He literally was in pain for like six, seven months. He's like, nothing's going to fucking help. He did the stem cells, took a couple months, and he's feeling better. It's pretty crazy. That, I mean, my knee wasn't super bad though. It was just some inflammation, and it was and it felt like that for like six months. I'm like, whatever. I feel like I'm gonna live like this forever. And those stem cells, I really do think helped. Helped. Yeah. I think it helped with the tendonitis, really. It's interesting. Um, but we were only, we only went for two days. What did, and, you, what did uh, you guys get a chance to do anything other than? No, we we, we ate at Caesars, which was where the Caesar salad was originated. Caesar, really? Caesar salad was originated, apparently. That's what they said, and it was fire. And then we went to Lorenzo's, which is another good Mexican spot. And had this taco with this bone broth. It's crazy how good food. There's some good food there. And then you walk outside, and you're just like back in Mexico. You walk in, you're like normal restaurant. You'd be anywhere in the world. And then you walk out, and you're like, holy fuck. I'm in Tijuana. It just changes like that. It's that quick. It's crazy. But I, I don't know. I was like going there. Puts perspective, life in a perspective. It's like, holy shit, dude. I'm in this fucking mansion jerking off on the sh- hot water shower. Jokes, I don't do that. But just being able to take a hot shower. Yeah. It seems like some, those houses, I'm like, there's no way there's plumbing. There's no, no fucking plumbing. way there's plumbing. There's no way there's electricity even looks like. It's crazy. And then one of this, there was a kid filming there first for the CPI people. And he said he'd been to Brazil. And he said, that's literally what Rio looks like. Really? It's fucking crazy. Yeah, it is weird. I've never been able to experience something like that. I've only traveled within the United States. It'd be fun to. Not fun, it is fun. I like Tijuana. Opening. It's yeah. fun. I enjoyed it. it. It's cool. And it's I always. I just. Something about languages that just so fucking fascinating to me. I, I could love listening to them speak Spanish to each other. And I throw in my words like uh, pinche loca. And I, they all laugh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's fun. Mexico is fun. Had a good time. Two days and I'm back. It is a good reminder too, because I'm like, holy fuck, I like being home, dude. Yeah, I like team. being home. Just and Elena, Danny sending me snaps because Danny kept Elena kept asking, "Where's Daddy?" 
Danny said, Daddy's at work. So she sent me snaps of Atlanta going, Daddy's at work. <laughs> Daddy's at work. Um, Mexico, fun. UFC meeting, hopefully Tuesday, actually. I think it's coming Tuesday. I'm going to go to UFC, talk to Hunter, Sean, me and Emron. Sit down, renegotiate new contract. Um, hopefully get something. Hopefully figure fun. out. So what's going? What is, I want to know is there something behind the scenes going on with Aljo Henry? Why is this not getting announced? Obviously, his bicep. Are they really waiting to see if his bicep's going to heal overnight? Like, what are they? I'm just so curious if there's something going. So I think if I go there, sit down, I can get answers, and I'll ask him. Say, hey, you want to keep this quiet? If it obviously they do, then I'm not going to come back here and blab my mouth. But I will know. Um, wow. Or there's nothing. They're just yeah. like I don't, I, don't, I, don't know. I don't know. So I'm gonna hopefully get some answers soon. Going to Vegas Tuesday. Why don't Excited. you think? I do think. Thanks. I appreciate that. Not really. Why don't you think Dana... Why do you think Dana wants the Henry versus Aljo fight so bad? Like, it seems like they're trying to do everything they can to instead of just throwing you in there with Henry as an interim or you versus Aljo. Like, it seems... Because Aljo came out and said that he's not afraid. Like, he would fight... If it was you fighting, he yeah. wouldn't take the extra time. Henry UFC, said he wants to fight UFC you. thinks three steps ahead. UFC is a smart business. They're doing what, what they think they need to do. They're just... They're, they're, they're fucking... They're smart. Um, except for slap, slap, slap fighting. You know what yeah. I mean? What do you think about that? The power slap? Yeah. I didn't even like watching. It was, it was gross. It's weird, dude, because some people just love it. Like, Schmitty was loving it. He's like, I didn't think I was going to like it. I fucking love it. Brandon, Sono, they loved it. They said it's so much fun watching it. I could see maybe watching the TV series part of it, like the Ultimate Fighter, like them at the house, meeting them, seeing their backstories. But the actual sp- you know sport whatever you want to call it itself i can't watch well they're defenseless that's what i think makes it gross to me it's like they can't protect them they're in any other sport or fighting or any, you have an ability to protect yourself and this one they're just you're all allowed to duck <laughs> yeah well i mean that's what makes it gross though is it's like you could just see there's a it's like a free it's like a sucker punch almost and it's not fun uh, watching people get sucker punched. well a sucker punch you don't see coming these you see coming but it is like i see what you're saying it's just a free shot to the chinskis yeah. I don't know. I cannot watch it. And I don't know if it's I can't watch it because I understand what concussions are. Right. I understand. I've been through them. I know how bad it is to do that to your brain. Um, Speaking of that. Did you see that guy's face? No, I didn't. I can't even. I seen like kind of thumbnails and shit and I look away. I can't even see it. I don't even like it. I don't like seeing it. But speaking of brain health, you know, that thing I talk about me and Dan. Um, yeah. I think we're going to sell it on like an Amazon ebook. Oh. It's a. Dude, it's for it's like I was idea, saying. Yeah. It's not just for, it's not for me. It's for everyone, dude. Right? It can be for high school football, lo- high high school football. It can be for any sport, and it can be for just. I mean, some people get con- they get hit in the head somehow. Or they or this can be just car wrecks. I mean, or just good brain knowledge and preventative stuff, maybe. Right. 100%. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not necessarily preventative, but just for a healthy brain. But yeah, I think we're going to put that on a, like an Amazon ebook or something and sell it. And I think it's just so powerful, dude. You know, the, the brain. You, ugh, that's what that's what trips me out about the slap show. Yeah. I met a, unhuman. I met this 80 year old. She was 86 and, and I met her in Mexico. Guaranteed. Uh, she was never a boxer. She never took brain damage that I, I would get. I would assume. And she was telling Tim and I, yeah, I'm 74. And her son-in-law was with, with her and look back she's like you're 88 she's like oh yeah I'm 88 i always forget but she would for, she was like starting to lose her memory and forget that's about terrifying. that and i plan on living to that late that age it's like that's so scary to think about losing your fucking memory yeah losing your mind just not being able to but remember. you don't think about it when you're 25 26 27 28 20, 30 30 you don't think about that really until, until you actually get older, then you might start thinking about it. Right. But I'm just people got to be careful. These young bucks. I'm talking to you, young bucks that spar hard. Yeah. Like you're gonna want that brain. That brain's gonna mean a lot more, especially if you have kids and you want to be be around for it. Um, just be careful. It's careful. Be careful, boys. You know what I'm saying? And girls. I know. It feels like this slap boxing is like just almost taking a step back from competitive sports, and it's just kind of like adds a weird, gruesome. I'm not that mad. I, I don't. I'm not that mad at it. I get it. Like it. I just not for me. Just like soccer, can't watch it for different reasons. You know what I mean. So I think it is. You can call it a sport and do whatever you want because there's. A, I think there's. There's a. Inner, there's a. There's a. What's it called? Where people want to watch it. There's entertainment for some people. They yeah. like that shit. I just can't. It has its spot for sure. Yeah, it has its spot. Um. 
Oh, fuck, I'm hired. Shit. Aldo's <laughs> boxing debut. That's good. We kind of all seen that coming. Aldo yeah. got introduced into the Hall of Fame. Fucking sweet moment. That was cool to see. In Brazil. Um, legend wow, in Brazil. At the, yeah, that was, that was really cool to see. Boxing debut, though. Fucker's going to be slick. He's going to oh, be he's fucking, gonna be he's slick. fast. He still fucking hits. He's gonna, it's going to be entertaining, and I'm definitely going to want to watch whoever he's fighting. It'll be sweet if we can fight someone that we know, too, like yeah. the name, Wait, rather than some random Jobin. It hasn't been announced, right? No, I don't think so. I mean, we had Schmitty write our fucking thing today, so I don't know. Oh, what um, did you, I know you and Timbo t- probably talked about, what did you think about Jamal Hill's performance? Yeah, that, that was, was slick. That was cool to see. Impressive, too. Glover's fucking, I mean, speaking of impressive, Glover being 43, going back to back five round fights like that. That's impressive. But Jamal Hill staying, t- staying calm in those, in those positions where he was on the ground and in danger, staying calm, staying, you know, uh, still thinking, not panicking, not putting himself in a worse position or even and staying out of, like getting his back took i think he got his back took but he rolled out of it once yeah. but that was fourth fifth round super tired but for him to go five fives cardio short notice get the job done super impressive yeah boxing the, looks slick Take and the, the first slick. ufc dana white contender series champion yeah which is, uh, was pretty cool to it see that cool. um that show working do you remember his comments a while ago yeah i did because someone retweeted it he said i'm the most why am i not in the dana white stuff uh promos i'm the most successful um, uh, fighter on there, and I yeah. said, "What was your definition of success?" Because I had, honest to God, never really watched his fights. I didn't right. know of him, and then I went back. And I'm like, "Damn, he beat Tiago Tiago Santos. He beat Johnny, uh, Walker. Johnny Walker. He he beat a lot of good guys." So when I had said that, I should have maybe done my research because he had fought in like good, good top guys. Um, you know what I'm saying? Right. And that's looking like they're looking for a year versus Jamal, in maybe uh, the summer, June, July, sometime. Which would be a super slick fight. <sighs> Who? Sorry. <laughs> Yuri versus Jamal in the summer. Yeah, Yuri versus That'd Jamal. I was kind of wondering if they were going to do Jamal versus Alex. And then I know, I that so got announced too. recently. Um, yeah, I thought. I bet Alex like, God damn it, I want it. He probably, will, if he could pick, he would obviously win up, try to become double champ. Jamal Hill's probably a good matchup for him. Like, I bet, you know what I mean? Good. Not I'm like a hardcore grappler. Yeah, it's kickboxing. Damn, that would have been interesting. But, I mean, yeah, I think Jamal Hill being champ makes it. In, uh, He's like uh, he's someone you you want to watch. Yeah, I would. So. Def- yeah, it kind of adds a little bit of excitement to that division. It sure fucking does. Especially um, Yuri versus him, that could be a yeah, that'll be war. interesting. That would be sick. I thought Alex Pereira was gonna. He was kind of eyeing him because he was coaching. Or oh, him. I'm sure he's. Fo- yeah, he was in sure. Glover's corner. So that little stare down they had it with each other at the end. I thought for sure Alex versus Jamal was gonna be next up, but I did too. But you can't do Izzy like that. No, you can't let Alex leave the division. And then Izzy's just champion. No, and then we all just know. And then it's another cycle of Robert Whitaker. Yeah. And so Paul I Cosby. think that make fight makes sense. I'm pumped for Izzy to go out and try to get his belt back. Yeah. Um, NFL. How was my picks from last week? I think you picked against the Cowboys, which was a. I very put five hundred on the Bucks. Lost that. That was two weeks ago. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah last yeah. week. Okay. Was, yeah yeah. Now it's the That's AFC right. and NFC championships. We got Joe Burrow, Joey B. Taking on Mahomes and the Chiefs. Oh, that's a dub for the Bengals, dude. Really? Oh, yeah. Joey B? He's 4-0 against the Chiefs. Oh, God. Last time he told me about the Cowboys and the <laughs> fuck I lost. But I think Joey B is going to fucking do it. Really? They I call do. They call we it. We drank uh, together. You know what I mean? It's Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. They're calling it Burrowhead. Oh. So, we'll see there. And then we got the 49ers versus the Eagles in Philadelphia. 49ers versus Bengals. For the Bengals win. Yeah. I'm hoping so. I still have a I'm 28-10. In October, I bet on the Niners at plus 1,600 to win the Super Bowl. I threw really? six, 16 bucks on it so you to win, win 250 roughly. 250 Yeah. That's it? I'll take it. It's off 15 bucks, 16 bucks. But now they're like plus 250 or 300 roughly. Damn. So hopefully. I'm going to just let it ride. Let I hate ride. Philadelphia. I want... So... Whatever. McNabb and, and and the Eagles. I don't think they're getting it done. McNabb, LaShawn McCoy, and yeah. De- Deshaun Jackson. Deshaun Jackson, yeah. I don't yeah. think they get it done. Um, speaking of getting it done, my, my flag football match is coming up soon. I think it's like a couple weeks. Rock, I know man. I haven't been doing any routes or anything. It's so hard when you're training full-time, like grappling. Your body doesn't feel like playing football. You know what I mean? It's just you're sore. I had some hard fucking rounds this morning. I'm so lucky I have such good guys to train with. And Tankino had surgery on his thumb, so he hasn't been training. Oh. But he comes in and watches me and tells me, like, coaches me through my rounds. It's so it's so uh, helpful. 
it's it's uh it's a super benefit having him fucking just watching you like that that's fun it's so fun. when you when you're doing those high level roles are you trying to like learn do you watch videos are you learning from tank in the moment and then trying to those moves <laughs> no in the no session or is it just kind of like no. all we're just going live and just like if i mean in a fight you have a corner you do this do that like someone that has a different perspective uh, maybe if we're up against the fence for example and i have like uh I'm holding his head and I should be holding his wrist and Tankino sees that he's like wrist control and I've got, you know what I mean? Mm. So having that, cause it's, it's about winning each moment in when you're up against the cage or on the ground, it's about winning each moment. So having him who's a black belt, one of the best in the world to tell me what to do. I'm like, that's what I should do. There's no guessing. It's like, okay, I, that's what I need to do. So it's pretty cool to have him there. Have uh, you felt a lot of growth in the last couple of Oh yeah. Years this, well, dude, this last just the, since my last fight with Peter. I've been going training f- pretty much full-time jiu-jitsu like um I feel like way better already. I feel like I'm learning so much all the time just because I didn't start grappling early and wrestling early like a lot of these guys. Um so I still feel like I'm making like massive leaps. You know what I mean? Right, I'm excited. To hopefully, you get be able to use off use your jujitsu and. Oh, I'm sure these fuckers I'm fighting. I'm gonna have to. Right, I just wish you could get a fight announced. Yeah, it ain't sounding like it's well. Who knows? Maybe they offer me backup fighter. I'd have to be a lot of money because yeah. I ain't cutting the 135 for fucking cheap. But we'll see. I'm, I'm gonna be re- even if they don't offer me it. I'm going to be ready in case something happens. Like, I really feel like I might start dieting. Well, I'm already dieting. I've been dieting, but, like, really watching. <sighs> I hate to say it, but not eating my chips at night as much. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Do they offer guaranteed money for those replacement fighters? Yeah. You have they to make do. weight and you get, get paid. I have no idea what, what the payouts are, but uh, mine would have to be pretty big. Because I don't have that, that many more weight cuts than 135. So I'm not going to do it for fucking cheap yeah you know what i mean but i also want to be a company man i also want to be like hey you guys can count on me so it's tricky like i said i'm meeting with ufc this week next week and uh i think i should have some answers hopefully you can drop some news that i know i would love to i would love to be able to i always ask him hey what make sure you you tell me what you don't want me to say because i like i said having that good relationship and communication with the ufc is so important that a lot of people don't have so, right. um, Schmitty wrote our topics today before he left because he was hanging out. He put how to avoid toxic relationships, and I'm gonna assume he's talking about the shit he's got going on. You know what I mean? But I don't know. I don't know why else he wrote. I don't know why else he wrote it. Uh, I think he's going through some shit with a girl. Yeah, and a girl that um, apparently has red flag after red flag after red flag, but Schmitty just can't help himself. Yeah, but okay, the Schmitty, maybe maybe Schmitty has some red flags that she's willing to... Yeah, maybe at. Schmitty has some red flags, you know? I think that's a very good point and uh, interesting perspective. Dude, what are you wearing? <laughs> this whole thing? Yeah, what is that? <laughs> this is your new merch for Valentine's Day. What, what are you wearing? Frick, dude, that's sick. I'm also wearing something like that. I got what my fucking thought? sugar vibrator in my butt right now going. Oh, I didn't that know you were dropping, that. though. Yeah, I didn't either. No, we are. We are. That was a funny little... uh, Oh, he also wrote about a... He whooped your ass shooting guns? Oh, yeah. Dude, Schmitty is a natural... He's a dead eye, huh? Dead eye. I was I was cocky. I was going in there coughing. I was in a, I play Call of Duty, so I'm like, dude, I'm gonna smoke these pussies. And Sona was all in the military and fucking did all the shooting and shit. Um, and Schmitty had never shot a gun. I I'm competitive. I like talking shit. Um, but Schmitty just fucking whooped us. Even Sono, I mean, he shot shot Sono. The, okay, here's the thing. What the, pistol? Do you know? Remember like what kind Glock of nineteen? Ooh. Okay. Um. So we all shot. Schmitty won the first round. It was close-ish. Second round, Schmitty won again. Dominated. Like, very, like very good. Then mid-range, I won. Schmitty said, oh, we're just having fun pulling the trigger. I'm like, okay. But mid-range, I kind of won. And then uh, far range, I think Sono and Schmidt were pretty... I think Sono, Schmitty might have won again. But Sono shot pretty consistent. It's never perfect or great. But yeah, so Schmitty, fucking good shot. Isn't that weird holding the gun in your hand it's so you know what when i was going i know i'm sure just shooting has a lot to do with being able to be in, like be in the moment and really just focus on the task at hand i had these shitty ear buds in the mm-hmm. shitty cheap ones they gave you oh yeah, yeah. instead of like the th- over the head ones yeah and there was someone shooting right next to me 
boom, 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 unloading during my shot sometimes. Sometimes I try to wait and then it happened again. And I could see my, feel myself getting distracted. Mm. Um, so that was fucking annoying, dude. Yeah. It was so loud. And my one of my little, my right earbud kind of was falling out. And a couple shots went off. And my ear rang. I had this like numb feeling sound oh, for like 24 hours. It was so annoying. Um, but yeah, shooting was good. I already, I mean, it's weird. It's like, okay, it's pretty b- easy to load a gun and fucking turn the safety off, cock it back, and shoot. Sh- sh- it's pretty easy, but it is powerful. It's a powerful yeah. feeling. I didn't know you and I can just walk down the street carrying a gun here. Yeah, your zone is no a permit. Carry, yeah. That's crazy. So I want. I do want to get more comfortable with the gun and just you know shoot more, so I feel more comfortable with it and uh, start carrying one. Yeah, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Cause some motherfuckers, dude, you never know. They run up on you. Mm-hmm. Would you go for a little shot in the leg though, if someone ran up on you, or would you go like? A- um, if they ran up on me with a knife, maybe not. If they ran up on me, I wouldn't shoot someone unless I knew I was one hundred percent in life or death danger. Yeah. So if someone just came through my house, though, different story. If someone broke in, we talked about that. Yeah. Wouldn't you? Ba ba bang, unload. Yeah, I mean, I would. You'd be for scared. Sure. You'd be there. I'd I wouldn't be scared. Even, I'm what? sure I would just my. What if they have a bomb? Over, no yeah. But yeah. Um. So yeah, getting more accurate, more fucking dialed in with a pistol. Thinks it's important. I'm gonna take Danny shooting too, yeah, so she, she feels should. comfortable. We have a cute little pink gun that Garrett got us, and uh, get her shooting, get her comfortable with it because. Yeah, I mean world's crazy world's crazy right you know what i'm saying um so yeah yeah we got that was fun though schmitty schmitty's a very good shot and i know schmitty is probably jerking off right he's now. he's smiling ear to ear listening to this <laughs> yeah oh yeah he's loving you put it shit. on his story too oh yeah this shit's getting this getting <laughs> clip this gone schmitters oh my princess is crying let's see what it happens when i type in ufc news um, UFV news isn't what I was looking for. UFC news. Bella Mir, daughter of former UFC champ Frank Mir, scores UFC first NIL deal. What the fuck is that? It's the college, because now college athletes can get paid. Uh huh. And so I think it's a college athlete deal. She's a. Oh, she's a prospect in the MMA. Mir, who's the. 20-year-old daughter of former UFC heavyweight champ Frank Mir has come to terms with the promotion to be its first NIL name image likeness. Oh, ambassador yeah. of the UFC announced on Friday. Currently a freshman at the University of Iowa where she is part of the women's wrestling team. Oh, yeah. interesting. Mir will have an opportunity to generate an incoming based on endorsements. Damn. Now college kids are getting paid. So Despite her youth, Mir is already 3-0 as an MMA. She made her debut at 17. She took a, she took an 18-month break from fighting afterwards. Blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, that's pretty, that's huge. That's cool. Good for her. Uh, that's fire. High school, so you can now sponsor. That's pretty sweet. I wonder if I should sponsor some Sugar Show NF, uh, NFL. Or I mean, Sugar. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Sugar <laughs> uh, football it. players and shit. You can deck them out in your merch. I'm surprised that's what's the news rather than. I mean, there is news right there. Is he? Israel to face at a pahada UFC news. Conor McGregor says he was struck by riding while riding a bike. Be the crazy day to be the person who hit Conor McGregor on a bike. Oh, I think I watched a little bit of the video. It's like, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. It's like, you're fine, mate. You're fine. And then the guy gave him a ride home or a ride to wherever he was going. <laughs> really? Yeah, I, I didn't see that. That's so it funny. Like, that is funny. I would hit. Oh him shit! Look what Sono just sent me. This guy fucking getting knocked out. Boom. Oh. Boom. Oh. Oh. Gross. I don't like watching. I mean, that's not as bad, but the slap shit, I just can't. I uh, can't do bad. Can't do. Uh, what else we got coming up? We got the Super Bowl. That's going to be here. Hopefully, I can uh, do some shit there. Maybe I can even go to the Super Bowl. Joey B, maybe he could hook you up if he's in it. I wouldn't even ask. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't want to be that guy. But going to the Super Bowl, you're going to get asked by everyone. I would just try to get, you know, tickets from some, you know, company that's sponsored. I don't know. Someone that got an extra ticket. But I don't think a lot of people are going to. If not, it'll be fine. I was gonna. Have, I w- remember. I told you. I was like, "If Cowboys go, I'll bring you." But then I thought about it. I'm like, "I'd have to bring Dad." Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, good thing they suck. In the yeah, I would have had to bring Dad. I would have break it to you and say, "I only got two, and I know I told you." No, it's screwed, Dad. He's always like, he complains about the Cowboys more than anyone That's ever true. met in my life. Mm, That's true. Dak sucks. First play of the game. Dak threw a ball away or something. Dak sucks. I get a text. Yeah, <laughs> but I would have had to. I would have had to. Yeah, um, Elena's getting huge. You know what I'm saying? It's so weird. She's two now, obviously. 
Danny said she's been sleeping a lot better because Elena was waking up in the middle of the night three, four, five times, like trying to find her boob. But recently, the last couple of days, she hasn't been. Uh, she's been sleeping only waking her up like once. Less boob searching, huh? How how much longer is they gonna breastfeed for? Or she's kind of weaning her off. You know, it's a funny word, weaning her. Yeah, she's kind of weaning her off um, her boob. But I don't know, dude. Oh, I was looking at this compound that's like over by out in Waddell. Out by Tim Rice because it's more like. Have you been out there? In Waddell? Yeah. I just think, like out in that area. Yeah, yeah. One it's time. more horse land, like yeah, multiple acres. There's this house out there with like two, three acres. And it's a, this compound. It's got the main house. And then it's got pry less than a football field away, a, a casita, a smaller house. Um, and then it's got the acres for the horses. And mm-hmm. it's irrigated because that's what Mariah would want. But I was thinking about looking at it. Cause it'd be so sweet. Tim and Ryan live in that house. Then Danny and I live in the main house. And, uh, cause I think Tim and Ryan are going to have kids soon. And I don't think they have as much family here or any to help out. And I know Danny and I, it would be, it'd be good if we lived close doors, but it was <laughs> Danny said every three years they could have kids. So, and Tim, Tim and I have a baby and then in three years, Danny and I have another baby. And then in three years, they have another baby. It's just kind of fucking. So we always, this age right now is so fun. Yeah. It's like, I don't want to ever not have one of these little ones running around. It's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> Would you want your kids to be six years apart though? Like Elena have a six. Yeah. I think that'd be fine. You don't think, I mean, it, it's just, I feel like it's kind of a large difference. Like me and Michael, where they didn't even know each other for the most part. So yeah, but I, I mean, eight years. Well, me so. and me, we'll probably Danny and I will probably raise the kids different than mom and dad. Not no better or worse way, but just probably different. Because you think about two mom and dad have full time jobs. Yeah, like Danny and I don't have job. I don't know. It's just, I think we'll and, and Tim and Raya will obviously. I mean, if we live on a compound, we'll be pretty close. So they're gonna be like brother and sister. Yeah, but I don't know. That's the high thoughts we're well, having. <laughs> Well, that's cool that Danny's even. Uh, I know considering because for a while there it sounded like she was one and done. Yeah, and who knows? You never, you never know. But just seeing those, you get stuck surfing. And we were in Mexico. We were surfing a lot of surfing, just fucking scrolling through our phones. Got fucking got tired. I was like, oh, for houses? <sighs> or for no, just scrolling Instagram and shit. Oh, gotcha. Well, what I was getting to is um, the funny and the cute videos where like the the bigger brother or sisters taking yeah. care of the baby or holding the baby or something and like Danny and I just sending those back and forth to each other it's just funny Timbo and Mariah they're they're trying right or not kinda. quite not I think trying. every once in a while they'll bust a nut ski in her but she she <laughs> she rides horses for a living dude you know what I mean it's like girl in the UFC getting pregnant like you can't do what you do so but she's also you know I think they're I think they're getting baby fever especially right now with this age when Mariah hangs out with Elena because when we were gone they hung out a lot Danny and Mariah and Mariah just loves Elena Mariah's meant to be a mom yeah. you probably haven't really been around her much but she is just like mom vibes really not vi- she's just good really good with the kids she teaches the kids jujitsu. she's just really good with kids f- super animal person like she's just fucking meant to be a mom good hopefully Timbo can because is Timbo meant to be a dad that's a good question right there that's a goddamn great question. <laughs> I think so. I think. I think. I think. I think we all are meant to be mom and dads. Yeah. Some people just aren't in the in the right life situation to do right. it. But I think Tim it's and Rye are definitely in the position to have a baby. As far as like Tim owns a gym, he doesn't have a boss. Mariah, Mariah is the GM at the gym too. So like she pretty much owns the gym with Tim. So they're they're in a good position to have a baby, and especially if we get that compound. <laughs> But I don't know. I'm just fucking. I'm I'm goofy. I don't know if that house has enough garage space for my whips. I the X is getting is getting uh done right now. Pink. Oh really? Yeah. It's gonna be fire. It's getting fire. Probably build. A, can you build? A oh yeah. Extra there's there's land there? out there. I'd yeah. have to build a big ass garage. But I also would probably sell Danny's orange car. And just keep the white, the green, the Lambo. Ah, wow, look at you. I don't know, dude. I'm just thinking. <laughs> thinking out loud. I'm just thinking out loud. What else we got going on? I don't know if we got a whole lot else lot. <laughs> Let me check my Instagram. <laughs> Let me see what, what's going on here. Ooh, do you keep seeing like these twins blowing up, like track girls or basketball players or stuff? I keep seeing them do TikTok. And they're so hot. No, I see these two tr- twins. They call the Trend Twins, like Trendable Trend. Uh-huh. And they're girls? Just, no, no, no. They're oh. two jack dudes, and they're like twenty, and but they look like they're like forty, and they're just huge. 
that's about it. I just see steroid kids lifting weights on mine. Damn, I just see hot chicks working. I would, I don't get on TikTok though. Do you? Yeah, I scroll TikTok. Fuck, that's I haven't a, been scrolling it near like at all. I watch like I YouTube Shorts. Yeah, and uh, I'll surf Insta. <clears throat> And then I'll surf uh, Snapchat too. Snapchat gets you, bro. Snapchat these is? ones really. Do you ever look at those? Did it no. Do you no. have Snap? Yeah, I, oh, yeah, look I, at yours, I snap you. But... Jesus, but you never look at these. No. Oh, they fucking get you, dude. Like, watch. I bet we'll find one. Well, the the NFL ones are always good. Longest TD in NFL history. Um, those Good ones, are, these ones are always good. Always have good ones. That's Leak what's flip. dangerous about TikTok because if you're in a mode and you want to watch some NFL stuff, dude, somehow your algorithm. I know. Throws you on NFL oh, stuff, and then you can just Call of Duty clutches. You just oh, scrolling dude, through Call of Duty chill, clutches for an hour. Chill. Like Harry Mack pops up. I listen oh, to Harry yeah, Mack yeah. for like an hour. I've been. I've crazy. Been, I was watching like Tim the Tap Man when they got their first nuke on YouTube. I was watching. We like got those are gone. We got no. Nuked on. Yeah, See, I ain't never. I ain't never been nuked on. That, that wouldn't happen. Hurt my heart. Shit. That's sweet though. I mean, good for those guys. The getting nuked yeah. sound is so hard, dude. Win six so games in a row, and the sixth game you basically have a target on your fucking forehead. Oh yeah, you do. So it's impressive what someone can win a new. You know what? Foul dropped thirty six again today. I saw yours, and it was a one v two. He killed the first dude, but got downed, and then uh, he, right as the self res went off, the guy went <laughs> like stood over the mountain. Was he pissed? Not pissed, but like, <sighs> dude, thirty eight for the dub would have been fucking would lit. Have been crazy. I had three. I saw that. That's so, embarrassing. It's not embarrassing. At least you post it so people know you suck. Yeah. I had a... I like, I like trying to... When he pops off like that, I like no, showing No, feed him kills and trying to... I don't even need... I, I do just... I'm, I'm looking... I'm getting UAVs. I'm looking for... Uh, I'm driving around. What I've been doing now is I'll drive around and we'll get a bounty and I'll kind of like drive in circles and drive fuck around and <laughs> foul, climb the ladder, do, 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 <laughs> go in the house and just shit on them because they think it's funny. <laughs> um... But the last hour today, I was playing. I was on a phone call, and uh, couldn't focus. No, because I was trying. I was focusing on the phone call more than the actual game. And uh, but I thought it was gonna be like twenty minutes, but it ended up being like an hour. It was a good call, though. It was important. So I was dropping bodies. I told you. I texted you that one. Yeah, day, so fuck. I had. We played like seven games. I went nineteen, <sighs> thirteen, fifteen. Then we died early. Had like five, and then I went. Uh, 17 i was just frying and then i had 25 the other day oh dude I died. Wish 25, 25 with 28 up that's crazy yeah i was on a good pace for a 30 and i choked it that's crazy um god that game is just too fun dude i have to i'll be talking about it. i gotta limit myself on that thing yeah game well the, they're updated the new update's gonna be sick too they haven't done it yet right no okay. it's coming soon 1v1 goo I don't mind two v two goosh. I don't mind it either, but a lot of people hate it. Yeah, I've, I hear that. I think it's a lot of the really good. Well, I don't know. I've heard of both because yeah. I well, usually have the one v two clutch, and it's not that bad. Yeah, but they're also adding like you're gonna move faster while plating. That's fucking important. Dude. They're getting they rid needed of like, that shit. That was just dumb. Not yeah. Dude. They're uh, everyone starts with a three plate now. Interesting. Um, the, all everyone's backpack three the plated same size. too, or do you yeah, land yeah, yeah. two plated? Oh, I don't know actually, but the, everyone's backpack is the same size. Is it bigger? I think it's like a, probably like a medium. I don't know if it's a large. I doubt Damn, it's a large. That changes it. I mean, that's kind of because you could really. I mean, that that, that changes it. That's a big part of the game. I feel like changing. I wonder if mantling is slow. Did they say anything about that? Oh, I don't know. That shit drives me crazy. I, just, I didn't mind the backpack. Is if you could I didn't pick up the other well, person's yeah. backpack. If they, yeah. they would have fixed that, I wouldn't mind the small, medium, large because it, no. it gives you an advantage to be able to hold more stuff. Oh, you can have four smokes rather than two. Yeah, like, that's huge. So it's not a. I don't think it's. Not bad. Yeah, but. interesting though. I'm excited for that to come out. Um, what else is going on in this goddamn world? I don't know, dude. Um, Good, that's pretty much. Yeah, I pretty much all I got to more. say. Um, you know what I mean? Yeah, I never thought of it like that. Yeah, that's it. Episode what number was that? Ninety four. Episode ninety four, dude. What are you wearing? Just jokes. Episode ninety four. The sugar merch should be dropping soon. Um, Valentine's Day shit. We got some hoodies. We got some crew tops. We got some t shirts. We got some vibrators. We're dropping condoms. A little sugar condoms. It's gonna be a fire Valentine's Day drop. I'm excited for it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. All right, that's it. Episode ninety four. Peace. Deuces. Nineteen ninety four. Let's see. I was born. What? Crazy, huh? <laughs>